lessons on YouTube. They're already up there right now. Okay? So, first point on the quiz. First point on the quiz is, yes? By the way, for 6.2 videos, there's no sound. Thank you. I've heard that, so I will have to go and see if I can make a correction. Appreciate you calling that to my attention. Number one. Graphing a function of the form f of x equals ax squared. All right, you guys should write this down somewhere on the list somewhere because as soon as I'm done with this list, I'm going to remove it. Okay, number two. Graphing a function in vertex form, which is f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Next thing. Bless you. The next thing is getting a function from a graph Next thing is going from vertex form to standard form. Hold on one second. I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, thank you. Thank you, past self. Um, finding the vertex. when I'm in the form, when I'm in standard form. f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, graphing a function, f of x equals ax squared. Second thing, graphing a function, f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Fourth thing is the vertex form.
one or two two then? Two one. Two one? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's a little blurry, but it's it's better than nothing, right? Breaking the contrast. Bring the contrast down. We the contrast down. down. It made it blurry like that. Projector while we had it, but we no longer have it. So it is what it is. I could just write on the board, but then I can't record what I write on the board. You could just like hold your phone. Okay. So it is what it is, guys. Okay. Finding the maybe one day if you guys can come up with an idea of how I can record it while writing on the board, that'd be great. Until then, this is what we'll do. Now, finding the vertex, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, these are the five things that are on the test. Okay, there are other things that are implied in here, which is finding the axis of symmetry, um, finding the minimum value, maximum value, whatever it may be. Okay, but we'll start from scratch now. Monday. Okay. So the first thing is graphing a function of the form f of x equals ax squared. All right? So for instance, if I have f of x equals 2 x squared, The first thing that I should recognize is this actually is in vertex form. But in this case, what are h and k? Zero. h and k are both equal to 0. So my vertex is at 0, 0. Right? So whenever I have something in this simple form of ax squared, then the vertex is 0, 0. So once I have my vertex, I create my x, f of x table, and I put my vertex here in the center. And then I have to populate this column of x, and I do that by going down one, down another, up one and up another. And when I'm done, I've seen a lot of mistakes here. When I'm done, I should have a list of five numbers in numerical order, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. See, they're in numerical order. Yes? The min or max? I'll get to that. All right. Once I've done that, if I've got the x value, if I want to get f of x, I do what with x values? Plug it in. So I plug in negative 1. I get 2 times negative 1 squared equals 2 times 1, which is 2. Plug in negative 2, I get 2 times negative 2 squared, or 2 times 4, which is 8. What do I know about these two values? They're the same by symmetry. So that's 8, 2, 0, 2, 8.
Once I have that, I go ahead and plot my function. Negative 2, 8. Negative 1, 2. My vertex here at 0, 0. 1, 2, 2, 8. Okay? Just like that. You guys understand? Yeah? Okay. That's a simple one. All right. Do you guys want to do an example problem on your own of this? Yeah? No? A couple of people shaking their heads. Shaking yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're going to do an example problem that's similar to this in just a second. So we'll, we'll, you'll see. So we're going to go on to number two. All right. Number two, graphing a function of the form f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. What's an example? f of x equals 2 x minus 3 squared plus 4. So the first question is, where's the vertex? 3, 4. There you go. Once I have the vertex, I create my t-chart here, f, f, x, f of x, 3, 4. Go 1 down, 2, 1, 4, 5. And all I have to do is plug it in. 2 times 2 minus 3 squared plus 4. Equals 2 times 2 minus 3 is negative 1 squared plus 4. Remember, show all your work because it helps you to get the right answer. Negative 1 squared is 1, so it's 2 plus 4 equals 6. Next one, 2 times 1 minus 3 squared plus 4 equals 2 times negative 2 squared plus 4 equals 2 times negative 2 squared is 4 plus 4 equals 8 plus 4 is 12. 12. And what do I know about these two numbers? They're the same by symmetry. All right, my vertex is here at 3, 4. God bless you. Next point is 2, 6. That's here. Next point is 1, 12. That's here. Then 4, 6, 5, 12. And there you go. Does that make sense? Alright, good. Good. 
So now you'll do an example problem just like this. Your example problem is f of x equals negative 2 x plus 1 squared plus 3. That's your example problem. So you guys go ahead and plot. Do that one on your own. Find the vertex, fill in the table, plot the points, and graph. paper or like a little what I suggested in the beginning of the year and I'll continue to suggest that is just get a little 99 cent composition notebook and have that be what you bring to math class in case you want to take notes as you guys notice I often will go out of the book so you know sometimes it's hard to find paper or whatnot All right. Here's my function. First question is where's the vertex? Negative one. Three, right? Once I've got my vertex, I create my x, f of x table, negative one, three, go down one, that's negative two, down another, that's negative three, then zero, one. Plug in the numbers, negative two, negative two plus one squared plus three. It was negative 2 times negative 1 squared plus 3. Negative 1 squared is 1, so it's negative 2 plus 3 equals 1. There you go. Next one, plug in negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 plus 1 squared plus 3 equals negative 2 times negative 2 squared plus 3 equals negative 2 times 4 plus 3 equals negative 8 plus 3 which is negative 5. What do I know about these two numbers? They're the same by symmetry. 1, negative 5. Okay. Okay, here's my vertex at negative 1, 3. Guys, I have fairly good hearing. Let's focus and pay attention. Negative 2, 1, negative 3, negative 5. 0, 1, 1, negative 5. There we go. That's my function. 
that makes sense? Okay. Any questions on this? Okay. So that's how you do that. Next, number three. Number three was finding a function from its graph. Finding a function when given its graph. All right. Okay, let's say I've got my vertex here at 2, 1, and then I've got this graph, Okay, so you're given this graph, and you can tell from the graph that the vertex is at 2, 1. Now, I might not specifically tell you that the vertex is at 2, 1. You might have to just determine that from the graph, okay? And then you see these other points, and one of them is 3, 3, okay? And I say, give me the function in vertex form. Okay, that's all you got. You've got those two points. But truthfully, that's all you need. So the question is, how do I do it? Well, if they're asking me to do it in vertex form, I should start with vertex form. And now we can see that I have to solve for a, h, and k. I've got to get those because those shouldn't be left in my function. The only thing that should be left in my function is an x and numbers. So h and k are the easiest, right? Because while well, my vertex is always at h, k, well, where's the vertex of this function class? 2, 1. So h is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1. So I just go ahead and plug those in for h and k. That's how I start. f of x equals a times x minus 2 squared plus k is 1. And now that I've got that, What else do I have to solve for? Who can tell me? A. a. How can I solve for A? Plug in, plug in a point. Plug in 3, 3. I've got this point 3, 3. Well, that's the same as x, f of x. So f of x is 3 and x is 3. So I plug that in. I plug in 3 for f of x. equals a, and it just so happens that x is also 3. So I plug that in for x as well. Minus 2 squared plus 1. And now we can see here, now that I've plugged in this point, all I've got left is a and a bunch of numbers. So I can solve for a. I get 3 equals a times 3 minus 2 is 1 squared plus 1. Or 3 equals a, 1 squared is just 1, so it's a plus 1. 
subtract one from both sides, and I end up with a equals two. Now, now that I've gotten a equals two, what should I do with that? What should I do with that value of a? What was that? Put it back into my function. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to solve for a so I could put it back in here. So that's exactly what I do. The whole point is I was trying to get a, h, and x, and k. Well, I got all of them, so now I just put them in, and I end up with my final function as f of x equals 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 1. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah? Was that? Say that again. Standard form. Do one in standard form. Um, so in your book on your homework, it then said from vertex form go into standard form, right? But I'm not going to ask that, okay? Because it just added another step to an already challenging question. So you're just going to, I'm going to ask you for the function in vertex form for something like this. Do you guys understand this? Okay. All right. So now I'm not going to draw a graph this time um, because you actually don't need a graph. You just need two points. I'll say the vertex is at 1, 3, and I've got some point at 2, um, two 7. So use that and solve for the vertex. So you could have a graph, or I could just give you those two points and tell you which one is the vertex. So I gave you those two points. 1, 3 is the vertex, and the point is 2, 7. So go ahead now, and on your own, Find the function that gives those points in vertex form. Do the exact same way. First, you plug in H K and use the point to solve for X. First, you plug in H and K and use the point to solve for A. Okay. Start with vertex form. f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. From the vertex, h is 1, k is 3. So I plug those in, I get f of x equals a times x minus 1 squared plus 3.
and then I plug in this point 2, 7. 7 is f of x equals a times 2 is x minus 1 squared plus 3 or 7 equals a times 2 minus 1 is 1, so this 1 squared is 1, so plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides, and we get a equals 4. And with that value of a, I plug it back in here, and I'm done. Guys, I don't want to keep looking over here. Beatrice, how about this? Why don't you come sit right here? Thank you. Thank you. f of x equals 4 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. There you go. Does that make sense? Any questions on that? Good? Get this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Y value is f of x. Yes, sir. When you take out the points from the quiz, because whenever I make my uh, key charts, I always put um, x and y instead of x and f of x. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, cool? Questions? Anything? Okay. Moving forward. How do we find the vertex? when we're in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In vertex form, it's obvious. It's just hk. But when we have um, standard form, remember the vertex is at negative b over 2a. And then once we get that value, negative 2, 1, whatever it is, it just ends up negative b. I just plug that back into the function. So I get the x value and then plug it back into the function to get the y value. You guys remember this? Okay. So an example would be f of x equals 2x squared plus 8x minus 4. Okay. So the first question you'll ask yourself here is what's a and what's b? a is 2 and b is 8. So negative b over 2a is negative b is 8 over 2 times 2 equals negative 8 over 4 equals negative 2. So my vertex, I already have my x component is negative 2. And then all I do is I plug that x value in. And I get f of negative 2, so I'm evaluating my function at negative 2, equals 2 times negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2. Minus 4. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 minus 4. 8 minus 16 is negative 8. Minus 4 is negative 12. So there you go. I got my vertex. So it's just negative b over 2a. Get that value. Plug it back into the function. Just like that. All right, so your example that you're going to do on your own now is f of x equals negative 3x squared minus um, 
18x plus 5. Negative 3x squared minus 18x plus 5. Find the vertex. Negative b over 2a. Okay. So the first question is what's a and what's b? Well, a is negative 3. B is negative 18. So then do negative B over 2A. Well, it's negative. B is negative 18 over 2 times A is negative 3. Well, this is interesting. I've got a negative times a negative. That would be positive. Then I've got another negative. So what does it end up as? Negative. So negative 18 over 2 times 3 is 6. So this ends up as negative 3. So my vertex is negative 3. And then I just go ahead and plug that into the function. f of negative 3. So I'm evaluating my function at negative 3. Equals negative 3 times negative 3 squared minus 18 times negative 3 plus 5. This equals negative 3 times negative 3 squared is 9 minus a negative so it's positive 18 times 3 is 54 plus 5 negative 3 times 9 is negative 27 plus 54 plus 5 negative 27 plus 54 is 27 plus 5 is 32. So there you go. You guys got that? Any questions on that? Okay, almost done. One more step in reviewing for the quiz. Here we go. How do I get from vertex form which is f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. How do I get from there to standard form? So I'm converting to f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c. How do I get there? Well, it's actually quite simple. So I have f of x equals 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. Well, all I have to do is just kind of square this out or foil it, however you want to do it. So f of x, I'll give you guys a second. f of x equals 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 plus 3. Right, because I'm squaring it. 
You could also do square the first, square the last, multiply and double. That's how I do it, but if you want to do it this way, that's okay. So I get 2 times x times x is x squared. Then I have minus x, and then another minus x, so it's minus 2x. Then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So that's just boiling that out. Yes, ma'am. And then you distribute the 2. That's right. Very good. Distribute the 2 in to all three terms. I end up with 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 plus 3. And I end up with 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. And I'm done. You see? Just like that. So, I'll give you an example, and that's the last thing we'll do. Your example is f of x equals negative 3x plus 4 squared minus 5. Go ahead and do that. You are done for the day. All right. First step. Kind of write it out like this. Make it easier for yourself. Negative 3, foil it out. x squared plus 4x, and another 4x is 8x, plus 4 times 4 is 16, minus 5. And I go ahead and distribute that in. I get negative 3x squared minus 24x minus 3 times 16 is 48, minus 5 at the end. Then all I have to do is combine like terms I end up with f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 24x minus 48 minus 5 is minus 53. And I have got my final answer, and I'm so happy. Woohoo, hooray, spiky hair. Got it? All right, any questions? All right, praise God. Listen, Monday, Monday, Monday is your quiz. Check your videos on YouTube. Other than that, you guys are good. You can pack up and enjoy the rest of your four minutes.